What's up, YouTube? Uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, I consider myself a pretty serious Pokemon card uh, collector, so I like to see a lot of different custom cards, people who do custom cards. Um, really hands down, this is the best guy, the best site, the, the best uh, artists that do custom Pokemon cards. Um, so I bought about 40 custom Pokemon cards, and they're called... Um, I guess this main website is Zaba.tv and I'll put links in the description to his Facebook, his YouTube, his Instagram. He has a Patreon site. Um, but again, it's Zaba.tv if you want to check out some of his cards. And I'll open up these uh, Zaba packs at the end of the video. But here we go. We're just going to jump right into it. Um, and it's not just him. It's uh, several different artists. Um creating these Pokemon cards and the design and um, I personally like the cards that have the writing on it but I know there are other artists that don't have any of the writing on it so this is Scyther we're just gonna kind of go relatively not too fast not too slow but just right uh, we got Gengar GX if you want to pause the video or read all of the attacks you can um, but I like the, the wording because it makes it look more like a Pokemon card or a legit Pokemon card. Um, so we got another Gengar here. And Charizard GX. And I really like how glossy they are. Um, I took them out of their penny sleeves and protectors for this video. Um, Charizard really just this card is really well done a lot all these cards are look really great um i love the artwork on this tyranitar and i'm thinking of making a binder and just putting all of these in a binder we got espion and umbreon gx tag team um by the way i think they also do things like Yu-Gi-Oh cards um some custom I think they have Marvel characters in some of them. Uh, I saw a Digimon card. So it's kind of cool that they're creative to make their even their own Pokemon. Um, they have some Overwatch stuff that we'll get to. And I just like how they have a variety of different designs. we got Dragonite and Flygon GX. Tag Team. Chandelier GX. Um, so much colors on this. Like, I was looking at these cards, and I was just like, man, you can really stare at these cards for a long time. Uh, this is one of the cards they made up is Omnion. Omnion, I think, GX. And it you can see the Leafeon ears, the Sylveon, whatever you call those, the Umbreon marks, Jolt, you can it's all the all the, the evolutions in one, which is pretty cool. Thought that was pretty creative. Then we got another one they made up was Obsidian, which is a rock or fighting espion. I mean, um, Eevee. Probably a, a rock type es, um, Eevee. Obsidian. That's pretty cool. We got Blastoise, Squirtle, and Wartotal. I mean, just, it's it's so beautiful. <laughs> and the quality of the cards is pretty thick. Um, not to be too critical, but there are times where, like, they're going to get nipped like other Pokemon cards. Sometimes the centering could be a little bit better, but for, for the most part, like, it's not like you're getting these cards graded. Um, they're actually really well done. The quality is there. Um, and the thickness of the card, it's, it's quality, you know? Uh, so we got Jolteon. And they have, like, shiny Pokemon. All sorts of different variants of their cards. All different types of holographics. Um, we got Flareon. Vaporeon. The shiny Vaporeon. Um, just look at the colors that... They really do a good job. So again, their website is uh, Zaba.tv. 
Check him out. Um, we got Garchomp here. Yeah, this guy looks nuts. So he has actually his whole evolution chain, I think. We got Shiny Charizard. So they, I think some of these cards, they, they take, you know, another regular Pokemon card, and then they kind of craft it into their own custom Pokemon card. So that's pretty cool. I have no idea how he does all of this, but um, they pump out tons of custom Pokemon cards um, every month. Um, Age of Slash, and you can see the Zelda marks on the shield. It's pretty neat. If you um, subscribe or um, to his Patreon, think I think that they mail out like cards every month or something like that. We got Ursaring or Urs Ursa yeah, GX. I think this has some ties to Overwatch. I really like how <laughs> it's just very unique. And again, they have different artists that do these cards. Um, this is my champ. Like, you can actually feel the texture of it. Um, just amazing job here. So, I love this McChamp. We got Golem and the Dene. I, <laughs> I didn't even notice the Dene's up there. <laughs> it's pretty nuts. Pretty cool. We got Surf. Surfetched GX. Another really nice card. But yeah, I like his uh, Instagram because then you can kind of see some of his new cards or what he's been working on. Um, we got Charizard GX. And this looks like the Hidden Fates. Um, similar to the, the artwork of Hidden Fates for the Shiny GXs. Wow, look at those rainbows. That's beautiful. Again, the quality is so nice. We have Primeape GX. I love how like his eyes are just like white and he's about to do an attack or jump on some guy. We got Zapdos. Oh, this artwork looks so nice. Zapdos GX with some Magnemites. And the background is just really well done. Like, I wish regular Pokemon cards looked this cool. <laughs> Pokemon needs to step up their game. We got like a stained glass, like the legendary birds. But we got Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Definitely a very nice card. It's mesmerizing. <laughs> All right, moving on. We got a Pikachu. This card really stands out with how shiny the Thunderbolt electricity is all over here. It's such an amazing card. Okay. We got, what is this? Uh, Mimikyu and Psyduck. Like, look at the Psyducks in the background. We got Shelter. Psyduck is just having fun. It's a cool tag team card. All right. Oh, this looks like a, we got the Blue Eyes White Dragon and Charizard. So a very unique um Custom cards that they can do here. Oh, we got a Mewtwo GX. Um, like in the laboratory. Love me. Um, it's like a cyber, you know, experimental Mewtwo going on. Super cool card. Full burst Psy Strike. Okay. When I saw this card, I had to get it. It just it's it just made me laugh. Um, I think this guy is from what is it? The Fairy Odd Parents. 
So Galarian Weezing. Um, they do have some new Sword and Shield Pokemon. I think they're going to be pumping out some more Sword and Shield Pokemon. I think they're working on Simone's, their own Zaba chain of their own cards, I think. We got Dragapult V. So they're doing like Dynamax Pokemon. Um, they just came out with like a new Blastoise, Venusaur, and Charizard card. And this is just like a portion of their cards. They have just pages and pages. And you can see on Zaba.tv all the different cards that they have. Um, but if you look, you're going you're gonna to want to buy some because they do such a good job. Look at this. Definitely one of the, the cooler Pokemons. He's just shooting his little um, Pokemon out. Dragon darts. Definitely one of the coolest Pokemon in uh, Sword and Shield. And it's so good in, in VCG or, or singles. Um, you just run them in so many different ways. Okay. Oh, check out this Blastoise. Can you guys see that? Check out this Blastoise. It, it has like the Kyogre markings, the Primal Kyogre. Um, very unique. Blastogre GX. 240 HP. Primal Jet. Tidal Storm GX. Wow. Very cool. Oh, this is definitely, if not my favorite Pokemon card, is Chikorita. Chikorita. Cinequil and Totodile. Like the it just looks so crisp. Um the artwork it looks great. Um Fury Swipes, Razor Leaf, Fireworks. Um I know it's just on, on camera, but if you see this in person, all these cards, they look so pristine, so so clean. Holographic. Oh, we got uh Ponyta and Galarian Ponyta. Um, I think they did a good job with Galarian Ponyta in the game. And this is a pretty cool card to have both different forms of Ponyta. Um, okay. Oh, I also have some metal cards that I got. They have tons of other metal cards, but I just picked up a few. We got Blastoise. I mean, this thing is, it's tough. This is metal. Pretty awesome. Um, so we got Blastoise, first edition. I love these cards. They, they just feel really good. We got Venusaur. Just from like the base set. And then we don't have Charizard, but we do have Lugia. I think they only made like a limited amount of these cards. But I wasn't able to get Charizard. But you can even hear it. Like, that's that's metal. This isn't flimsy at all. This is really good quality. Okay. And then we also have... Oh, I like these cards. I personally wish they would make a little bit more of these cards. Um, Lugia and ho -Oh, But, like, if you turn it a certain way, they, like, swap positions. Can you guys see that? Oh, and Lugia, and then we got this Charizard card who goes from normal to like a shiny form. <laughs> That's fun to play with. Okay, so that's a quick look at all of these Zaba TV cards. I'm going to be opening up some Zaba packs in a second. Here's one quick look at these cards again. These are just some of the favorite cards that I selected out of everything. Um, but again, check their website. They got so many different variations and different designs and artists. Um, just kind of, you know, interesting to see what they'll come up with next. We got a Zaba pack. Three of them. So let's see. Oh, I guess this comes with 
seven common, uncommon, rare non-hollows, one trainer card, one reverse holographic of any rarity, one holographic, or better, plus one custom-built trading card by Zaba Cards. Um, you get a discount card, one out of ten chance for an additional ultra-rare custom. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and it says black and white through the most recent pack. But that kind of depends on when they made it because Pokemon's always coming up with new sets. Um, Sword and Shield's coming out. Uh, so is it actually going through, what, Cosmic Eclipse? I guess Cosmic Eclipse would be the most recent time of filming this. Um, I actually just sent a bunch of cards to PSA today, probably about 80 cards or so to PSA. So it'll take a few months for them to get back to me, but anyways, oh, so here's a far fetch. These are just legit regular Pokemon cards. It's just a kind of a custom pack that they do. Mew, Trainer, Zapdos. Gardevoir GX, and this is a legit, authentic Pokemon card, I believe. And it looks like this is this Leafeon is Autumn Leafeon is the custom card. That's pretty cool. Cool breath. We'll probably get some duplicates just because I bought so many cards. Autumn Leafeon, sweet, and then some other cards here and a code card okay cool I actually really like that Leafeon where's my stack okay yeah it's pretty cool that he made his own like printed out his own like pack design and um, I just wish like I had the creativity and could run a custom Pokemon card business and it's, it's just it's amazing um, here we go we got Voltorb, Mr. Mine, Magikarp, Psyduck, trainer cards actually this is what from Hidden Fates oh my gosh we got a Zorak GX this is actually one of the promo cards this is really nice um, wow, Lugia GX. Great selection in the custom card here. Lugia GX. And then we got Water Energy and some other comments. Yeah, not bad. That's pretty, pretty cool for our custom pack. Okay, last Zabo pack that we're opening up. Again, I'll put all the links um, to his social media in the shop down in the description. We got Staryu, Jigglypuff, Cubone, Clefairy, Trainer Card, Jujigon. We got Giovanni's Exile. That's a nice card. Whoa, and the Charizard and Charizard and Charizard Tag Trio GX. Check out these three Charizards. That's awesome. I didn't actually get a duplicate. I was actually thinking of picking up this card when I saw it, too. Um, another cool custom card here. Leaf Energy and some other comments. Um, that's basically it. Um... I love these uh, these custom cards. We're probably going to end the video, but oh man, just amazing artwork. Check out their website, Zawa.tv. Um, I'm going to be posting up some other videos, some PSA videos soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, let me know what you guys think. All right. Thanks for watching.